Hello friends, welcome back to Vidich Academy. And this is Mayuri and in this section we are going to discuss some basic conditions regarding the concept the straight line. So first let us discuss about the general form of a straight line. So the linear equation which is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 represents a straight line with the slope m equal to minus a by b. And then coming to the next condition that is if L1 and L2 are two straight lines in the plane with the equations AX1 plus BY1 plus C1 is equal to 0 and the next equation is A2X plus B2Y plus C2 is equal to 0. So these both lines are said to be parallel if and only if the condition which is A1B2 is equal to A2B1 or else A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2. And then coming to the next point where these lines are said to be perpendicular if and only if A1, A2 plus B1, B2 is equal to 0. And then coming to the next concept that is these two lines represent a same line if and only if a1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. And now let us learn the procedure for reduction of this general form of a straight line into the intercept form which is x by A plus y by B is equal to 1. So for this we need to transform the constant term to the right hand side. So we get ax plus by minus c and then we need to divide whole equation with the constant that is minus c. So that implies we get here ax divided by minus c plus of by divided by minus c is equal to 1. So that implies we can write this equation as x by minus c by a plus of y by minus c by b is equal to 1. And remember this value is called as the x-intercept whereas minus c by b is termed as y-intercept. And now let us discuss the reduction of this line into the normal form. So for this let us consider ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. And transferring constant to the right hand side we get ax plus by is equal to minus c. And then we need to divide the whole equation with under root x square coefficient plus the y square coefficient. So here in this case x square coefficient is a. So that implies here we get under root a square plus the y square coefficient which is b square. And now by dividing the whole term we get ax divided by under root a square plus b square plus of by divided by under root a square plus b square is equal to minus c divided by under root a square plus b square. And now let us multiply minus to the whole term. So that implies we get here x equal to minus a divided by under root a square plus b square plus of y into minus b divided by under root a square plus b square is equal to c by under root a square plus b square. So you can observe that this equation is reduced in the normal form that is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p where this value is equal to cos alpha and this value is sin alpha and this value is equal to p and make a note that mod c divided by under root a square plus b square is the formula to find the perpendicular distance of a straight line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 from the origin. So here we discussed all these condition and now let us discuss the formula to find the area of a triangle formed by the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 with the coordinate axis is given by 1 by 2 into mod c square divided by ab whereas 
the area of a triangle formed by the line which is in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 is given by the formula 1 by 2 into mod ab. So all these are the basic conditions which are useful to solve examples in our next upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.